reduce the concrete from the slump. That's why you always do the slump first, unless there's a specific reason to do the air first. You can reuse the slump concrete. You can't reuse the air concrete because we're adding water to the air concrete, right? So remix this in. Uh, add water to your uh, bucket. Like there was already in the bucket, water in the bucket, so that's good. But just enough to moisten the outside edge, right? Fill it in thirds by volume. 25 amps per layer. minimum or as many times as it takes to close the void. You shouldn't see any voids in the concrete when you're done smacking it. Okay. Twenty-five mils into the underlying layer. off the concrete like that. You don't have to try to fill those voids so because we're going to fill those with water so it's not a big deal. Take your sponge, rinse out your sponge really. It. Don't apply pressure to your sponge. Notice how I'm holding it just nice and loose. Go along the outside like this because you want to clean this lip off so that when you put the lid on it doesn't you know have any concrete so it doesn't seal. Put some moisture on the lid so that it helps it to get a seal along the outside. Put the lid on. Twist your lid to make sure it's seated correctly. Close opposite pet cocks at the same time to keep it centered. Like that. Ensure your, your clamps are tight. Take the water bottle, run water through it. So the water is going to fill all those voids that we had in the surface of the concrete. <coughs> Once the uh, water is coming out to one side, we take the neck like this, tap it, blow it to release any voids or air from the voids, whatever, air in the concrete. Roll it like this until there's no more air coming out. Like that. Pump it up to the preset value. So the preset value on this air meter is 2.5. Every air meter is different, so pay attention to that. Set it to the preset value, run a little bit more water through the petcocks, close the petcocks. Adjust your preset to exactly on, then release the air. Tap the back of the uh, uh, gauge and then take your reading to the nearest tenth of a percentage point. In this case, 3.8%.